So today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me and I'm glad you guys are joining me on this adventure. It's the end of my semester. I didn't mean to rhyme but sometimes it happens. <laughs> And I really wanted to do a like everyday school makeup look because I think a lot of people have been requesting it. Since school is over, I feel kind of bad. <laughs> I didn't get to do it. So if you guys still want a school look, please let me know. But for now, I'm going to do what I usually do for school but like I step it up like one notch because I'm actually going out for dinner with my friends. So yeah, okay, let's get started. I put this. Uh, on my face and it seems to be working very well. I think the SPF amount is just nice. Sometimes I use SPF 50 but most of the time I'm using this one and it seems to not make my face like a greasy oil spill which is what tends to happen with sunblocks. For my base, normally when I'm in school, I don't actually use any base, I just use concealer. But today, since I'm going out, I want to be a little fancier. So I'm using Tinted Moisturizer. This is Garnier's Miracle Skin Perfector. I just use it now because I have grown fairer and a lot of my other foundations are now too dark. I've been having skin issues ever since I got to uni. I don't know if it's because of uni stress because I know a lot of people when they come into uni they also get like acne or if it's the place that I'm staying in or like what it could possibly be I really don't know. Just gotta roll with it. I'm actually using two concealers and kind of like striping it haphazardly over my face because I'm just trying to cover up the scarring. I have been really cutting down on the kind of products that I use and the amount that I use. One of the products I think made me develop an allergy so my skin started breaking out in little bumps but I'm trying to clean it up now and the products that I have been using lately really help with my skin. I've also been reading a lot of the labels on my skincare and my food. <sighs> I know, I'm such an adult, it's so boring. I think it really has been helping because I'm just trying to minimize like the amount of product in my stuff. I've had three performances in the past week. When you're a theatre student, you get like a bunch of performances as like your final exam thingy. So having to put on performance makeup, okay first of all the Bali dance one, uh, it went really well and I'm so happy. It was like one of my favorite things in the world. But in having to do that, I had to put on like a lot of that, that kind of stage makeup and also I had to cake on my foundation so that like it would provide a layer. So my skin definitely couldn't breathe and I know that. The other two performances, same lah. I had to put on a very thick base foundation without having actually cleansed my face and my skin is really sensitive like that so my skin freaked the F out it was like oh my gosh how could you do this to me? anyway these brushes that you see me using right a lot of people have been like eh what are you doing? <laughs> with these brushes because like I bring them um, to my performances to put on my base because it's so easy to put them on but basically these are knockoff artist brushes from Taobao and I'm going to review it for you guys I actually really like them so I'm gonna leave a link and I actually bought like three other brush sets, I think, from Taobao. Yeah, I know it's so excessive, but I did it anyway. Wait, one, two, three, and I have one more, so four. So I'm gonna be reviewing them and like showing you how the brushes work and which ones are worth it. Because Taobao brushes are really inexpensive, and I think these are worth the purchase. So we'll do that in the. Okay, I've got so many videos to do. I know now that it's the holidays, I've got time to do it, but I'm also going overseas for most of December, so. I will see how it works. Um, I also am curious, would y'all like me to have a separate channel for like my travel and lifestyle and like personal stuff or would y'all like me to put all of this in this channel and make it like a Chapalang channel? Just let me know. I just like wanted to run it by you guys. Now that I actually want this concealer to be thick and want it to cover properly, I'm gonna use my fingers. This concealer is too dark, oh my gosh, I know, but still. I'm just gonna use it for now. I'm trying not to buy any new makeup even though I did just order a bunch of Colourpop stuff. Colourpop, I can't help it. I just really can't help it. A lot of the stuff that I have uh, are starting to expire soon so I better use them quick. And I might be doing like reviews and favourites and stuff so I get a chance to feature all of the products that I know that I like. Just remind me not to buy new stuff, okay guys? <laughs> 
So I am gonna set my face with powder now. I'm using Sexy Mama by The Balm. I used to use this all the time and then I swapped it out. I think it works pretty well. I've got no complaints about it ever and I feel like it does stay on for the day, I think. Oh jeez. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my eyebrow pencil. This is the one that I use all the time. Um, it's it's a Japanese brand. It's I think Brow Lash EX. I can't be sure. Yeah, I think so. It's almost done. Uh, I think I actually finished my Etude House one. So actually, I like this one. This one a lot. Sometimes I also use powder, but most of the time I use pencil just because it's faster. I think my eyebrows are a little bit uneven. Hmm, maybe brushing them up will help. Ah, I think they're better. <laughs> I am going to go in with a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm going to take the original Naked palette and I am going in with Naked and Buck. Just a little bit of Buck. Like I'm mostly dabbing it in Naked and contouring my nose very gently. I feel like having foundation always takes out the shadows of the face so I just do that to kind of add colour back in. And I'm going to put it in my eye sockets. Anyway, guess where we're going for dinner? My friends thought it would be really 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 funny if we go to freaking guess where? No, seriously, just guess, just guess. <sighs> Supply and demand at Orchard Gateway. AKA the place where my worst ever Tinder date brought me to dinner. Technically, he didn't really bring me there. He just kind of walked there to have dinner and I followed. If you haven't seen the video yet, I'll leave a link down below or like put it somewhere here or something. Feel free to go and laugh at me. Everyone has been like, oh my gosh, can't believe you didn't leave. Guys! Y'all have to realise that I was 18 at that point and yeah, it may sound like I should have been more like mature and more sensible to know when to leave and stuff but I, I've never been on a date at that time. Like that was my first ever date. You know, previously when you like date people or like get into relationships with people, um, you just kind of do, you just get to know someone in school or like choose something else like you never go on dates with people it, it wasn't a thing so like when I when I went on date right I didn't know lah I didn't know that that's not what's supposed to happen on a date <laughs> I'm not proud of myself okay jeez let's do an update on on that Tinder date uh yeah we never spoke again but if I'm not wrong right he actually went to the same girl that he dated before me which was my friend and um went to ask her for this other girl's number because we had this group photo it was like all of us in it so yeah he like went on to the next girl in our friend group which is very weird I think I hope she didn't give her number but I he like just blended into obscurity like he was never mentioned ever again and we don't talk about him and he's just like this nothing person now so yeah anyway I'm using Buck and I'm filling in my eyebrows just a little bit because I feel like they are little sparse up in front. Ever since then, I have known how to date better but I have not gone back to Tinder. I met my now ex-boyfriend also on Tinder and we went out for one year plus. After the relationship ended, I did go back on Tinder for a, a while lah. One or two weeks, I cannot remember. But it was like right after, just almost as like a I, I can do it because I can kind of thing. I haven't gone on it since. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think it's... Yeah. <laughs> Nothing against people that use Tinder, really. Um, I, I would use it too, it's just that I get really frustrated using it because I'm just like, oh my gosh, what is this? And to be honest, I'm a little scarred. Um, <laughs> I think I am quite grateful that I am wow this is this is a really oh I didn't expect for this video to kind of turn so serious really soon but going out at night without like being worried and having to account for my every move I feel relieved honestly I do miss the good parts of a relationship I just 
don't think that I will be ready for one anytime soon. But that's not to say that I will not be in a relationship anytime soon. I'm not dating anyone now, but I feel like I had to put it out there just in case I get together with someone or something. You know, you know what I mean? Like you can never predict when that happens. But for now, yeah lah, not seeing anyone, not going ham on the idea of love. <laughs> I don't know if I want to post this already. Oh my god, it's so intense. Now let's go in with another eyeshadow colour. <laughs> Okay la, I'm just okay, I'm just gonna stop here because I think I'm gonna if I really do want to talk about it now I'm just kind of in shambles because I didn't expect to talk about it and I feel like I am rambling and I am going in circles because I haven't decided how much I want to say yet the same goes when you're talking to your friends right you don't know how much to say like how much will be TMI and how much you don't really know so you want to just kind of like process it for a while more so I think I'll just make like another video about it let me know if you're like interested or you're like no thanks. <laughs> I'm not gonna go for a smoky eye for cut crease or anything. I'm literally just gonna slowly darken my eyes and see how dark my eyes can get. So that'll be fun. I think I'm just gonna keep my eyes like this. I'm gonna line my eyes now with this black lacquer super liner. I like this because it gives me quite a nice line but I also don't like it because it's a little like shiny but it's supposed to be lacquer la, so it just depends on what you like. I'm gonna do the other eye really slowly. <sighs> Not curling my lashes or putting mascara because I've got eyelashes on my face eyelash extensions. I got them done from Highbrow using the Vanny Day booking service. I'll leave a link down below and you can check them out. And they were pretty good. I actually really love them. It's my first time ever getting eyelash extensions. I super super love. They're very nice. Eh? And yeah, I really want to go and get them done again but they're so expensive. So I'm just gonna like calm my ass down and have like short lashes for a while. But I still have like some left and uh, it's been Four weeks since the touch up, so actually it's pretty good. Uh, I lasted about like six weeks in total. So the other eye. Can you even see me? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. Okay la, can la ho? Don't have to be like super even, people cannot even see. I'm just gonna be using Benetint and I'm gonna be flushing my cheeks just by tapping it and stuff. I used to do this for my first ever like casual everyday makeup thing. I still do this quite a lot for school because it's so fuss free and yeah sometimes I skip this all together because my cheeks get really red very easily anyway so it's just like whatever. But we were so close to the end before my camera cut me off and took me a while to notice so I actually put on a bit of contour. I don't know if you can tell. I use the Innisfree one I usually use. For the final step to round out this video, I'm going to be using this Lippy Sticks. It is called Cami. It's a matte X formula and I'm just going to wipe my lips first because they got lip balm on. We are done. This is my first time wearing it. I actually prefer the normal matte formula better. I feel like this is a little bit too drying but the colour intensity is crazy and it's actually a really nice colour. So that brings me to the end of this video. Don't know why I got to do that to my hair. Girl, stop! If you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel right here. Um, I make new videos every week. Hopefully, I will try and aim for twice a week. Sometimes I'll make it, sometimes I don't. So uh, if you want to see my new videos, don't forget to stay subscribed. And with that, I'll see you guys really soon. Bye! Today I'm gonna be doing a hum 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 Could you even hear me? Oh my gosh, it's like I wanted to laugh and sneeze at the same time and I couldn't decide which one so I just went like <laughs> Um, Cami, which is a... Now, my final step is to use this Colourpop Lipity... Lip... 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 Lip...